Welcome everyone, this is the Cosmic Awakening and today I decided to do something a little different. You may have noticed the title already, which at that, this point I, I still don't know what the title will be because this is a collective message for anyone who needs to hear it. Maybe you resonated, sorry, maybe you resonated with the title. <clears throat> maybe you just checked on it just in case there's another message in here for you. In any case, let's see what comes up for you. We're going to see where this starts and where this leads us, what the story is, and um, absolutely comment um, where this is taking you and how this is helping you. So maybe let's start in center and just do a little bit of breathing because uh, for some reason I suddenly felt out of breath. Now I don't know if it's still me recovering or... <sighs> You guys watching need to catch your breath and maybe calm down a little bit. Take a deep breath. Hold and exhale. Take another deep breath. Hold and exhale. One more. Okay. I definitely needed that and I'm sure someone else needed that. So let's see what, where, this, where this reading will take us. I'm only using this one deck today, the Journey of the Sacred Bee. And we're just going to tell a story, okay? So first thing that's going to come out is the current energy or what you need to focus on. We're going to see. Oh. Okay. Right. Okay, guys. So this is the energy that's currently surrounding you. And it's the Ten of Pentacles. This means, and it says wealth, okay? Some of you could have a Virgo in, Mercury in Virgo doesn't have to be um, but the ten of pentacles is talking about achieving wealth a legacy a stable family life uh, being able to pay your mortgage being able to buy a home being able to support your family being able to be relaxed about money independent self-sufficient stable so for those of you hard-working bees out there spirit wants you to know that you're headed toward wealth okay plain and simple money is not going to be a problem for you money is going to be the least of your problems even if you can't see it right now the the way this flew out this is one of the best cards in the deck if you're worried about stability about making money about Saving money, being able to invest, return on your investments, um, getting a promotion. This is a big yes in your energy. No need to worry. This is happening. This is the path that you're on. I don't know if you manifested this or if you're just naturally, um, you know, uh, working hard and believing that this is going to happen, which is a form of manifestation. It's working. That's where you're headed. If you're working hard, working smart, if you are following your intuition, if you are um, taking care of your health, taking care of yourself, if you are organized and if you are following your life purpose, if you're following your heart and with responsibility, then absolutely there's nothing to fear and there's no reason why you wouldn't get and achieve this is what this is saying. Okay, now what else? We can just end the reading here, okay? What else do you need to know though? What else do you need to know about this? Any advice? Any warnings? Any, anything? What, what's, what do you need to know? There's more to this. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done an entire reading for this 
I'm sorry, recording, shall I say. So there's more. But what else do we need to know? Oh. Ace of Cups. Okay. Okay. Nine of Wands. Judgment. And the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Discs. Interesting. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. I love this. Guys, so here's your message. You fought many battles and you persisted and you overcame challenges. You didn't stop at anything. Nothing. Sorry, sorry. Whew. My bottle of water just fell. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still very thirsty. Still the aftermath. I'm still very, like, dry. This thing I had for two weeks, it really dried me up inside. Like, um, I have to drink water all the time. Maybe you, you went through the same thing. Maybe you persisted through uh, maybe some form of sickness or illness or disease or other battles in your life. Things have not been easy for you, okay, is what I'm seeing here. But you, the, the, what, what pulled you through, what kept you going was... was following your heart and believing in yourself and loving yourself. And this is what's getting you through. This is what keeps you going. Now, whatever effort you've been making, day in, day out, even if the, it's those small rituals that you've been doing out of self-love, out of nurturing whatever business, whatever project, whatever family situation you have it's paying off it's those little things that you've been doing daily those little steps that don't seem like much every single day they're actually taking you leading you toward wealth and a legacy and stability a promise of a retirement Being able to be there for your grandchildren, if this is the case, or to help other people financially even, to be a safe haven to other people. You're getting back some dharma. That's the good karma for your past efforts, all the battles that you overcame. And you did this out of self-love and out of love, love for yourself, love for your family, and it's where it's leading you, you can trust that you will be very well financially, well off financially. It says wealth, okay? And it says judgment because you're being judged constantly from above, from the higher realms. And there's always a balancing of energy here. And now you're getting what you deserve for the for everything that you endured for all the battles for all the hard work i'm seeing blood sweat and tears here cuz this bee seems like she's been through so much blood sweat and tears like even hospital um it's like you purged from um some form of sickness illness disease here you, you persisted through, I mean, maybe you don't even have the best of health. Oh, and you're improving, your health will be improving. Your health will be improving, your health is your wealth too. So there's an improvement in your health here as, as well. Um, if you've been worried about uh, someone younger, Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy here, who has been struggling with their health, it's about to improve that person's health will improve, okay? This could be a son or um, someone younger than you. I'm seeing a male energy here, or masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a male per se. Um, if you're this male energy, masculine or masculine energy, this is your health improving. 
Someone mentioned having overcome depression with mushrooms in one of the comments. So you could be watching this video. Um, not that I'm promoting anything of the kind, but it, that was just someone sharing their experience, and I do respect that. I don't know enough about it not to, you know what I mean? But it's just interesting because the same card came up in this reading. Um, mm -hmm. Someone could be recovering from the use of opioids. Because I'm seeing a poppy here. So someone could be recovering from the use of opioids. Be that in a hospital situation where there could have been some... Um, it doesn't even have to be... It's just something for the pain. So there will be recovery from pain and recovery from needing to use um, something to help with the pain. So if there was an addiction with painkillers, you're overcoming that. Um, and it's, it's almost like whatever you've been through, it's like bees. You know, those bees get attacked by... Um, pollution and all sorts of things and it's almost like you've been through all these things that could have killed you but you persisted through and now you just came through stronger i'm seeing a lot of healing in this pile because that this guy he's all green so that is archangel Raphael healing you blessing you with healing healing energy energy healing maybe you've done energy healing maybe this is something you need to look into if you are wanting to look into energy healing, you can find my email in the description box. I do offer that as a one-on-one -on -one service on Zoom. Your health is your wealth. Oh, okay, so there's another message here for those of you who are putting too much of an emphasis on making money. Spirit is, is wanting to tell you that... You need to put the same amount of energy into being healthy. Healthy rituals should be um, a priority. Because without your health, you cannot achieve your wealth too. Wow, health and wealth. Um, you've been a warrior here in some way, shape or form. Now for those of you who have been investing in your health and prioritizing your health, your persistence is paying off. And I see a rejuvenation for you. I see you feeling like a fresh green leaf. I'm seeing you turning a leaf. Starting on a new page. Okay, there's a new beginning here. Yes, we have the Ace of Cups. A new beginning in love. That could lead to marriage. So many messages coming through here. With a higher level soulmate. Second opportunity, a second chance with a higher level soulmate here, with judgment there. Someone here could have Scorpio in their chart. Sorry about the shuffling, guys. It just uh, gets me in the zone here with the channeling. New beginning. Wealth. Okay, let's, I'm just gonna, let's get more. Virtue. Three of Wands. Persistence and careful planning. Persistence and careful planning. Virtue is your virtue. Your ships are coming in after you've persisted. You trusted that your ships would come in. You trusted that the day would come after you prepared that there would be an opportunity. And I... Okay, what about the Ace of Cups, please? What about the Ace of Cups, please? Strength. Yes, you're definitely a strong person. Oh, your self-love is your strength. Your self-love is your strength. Your self-love is your strength. What about the Ten of Pentacles here, please? I just want one, please. What about the Ten of Pentacles? 
Knight of Swords. Any action, daily action that you've taken, even when you didn't feel like it, even when you didn't feel like it, you still persisted, you still kept going. This is, this is the reason why you are being rewarded. So keep going, keep going. Don't stop now. Someone here could be Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or Aquarius. What, if, what is this judgment, please? What is this judgment? Just want one. What is this judgment, please? Let's just take one from the deck now. What is this judgment, please? Queen of Discs. You guys are about to come into a very stable financial phase. You're getting a second chance at creating stability for yourself. You're getting a second cha chance at stabilizing financially. You could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in your chart. doesn't have to be. The fact that you've followed your heart persistently and the fact that you spoke your truth and moved in a very genuine and authentic way is going to be rewarded. Being truthful to yourself, to your soul. And as I say that, look what flies out, the ace of, of swords. Yes, your virtue has been your authenticity. And because of that, you're going to be rewarded with pleasurable times. Maybe reconciliation with people. You've been patient about this. You planted some good seeds, seven of pentacles. And you've mastered something here, eight of, uh, eight of pentacles. You've, you haven't, you kept working hard day in, day out, and it's being rewarded. And you're also being rewarded. Your dharma is for being altruistic because you helped other people. You were charitable. You gave back. You helped other people when they couldn't uh, pick themselves up. You were there. And Spirit has been noticing this. So you're not going to... Spirit is not going to leave you empty-handed. Okay? Your patience is being rewarded. Your hard work is being... This is all pentacles. So most of it, let's say. So bottom of the deck, we have the world now. And we're going to stop the reading at this bottom of the deck. But I'm going to keep going. I, I just have more things to tell you guys. So with Saturn being here in the world, it's been a tough cycle. It, you've been disciplined, you've been, you've been disciplined, you've pollinated, because I'm seeing this bee pollinating all over. It's like you've been planting, you've been, you've been on the journey of the bee, you've been on the, and you've been a busy bee. Um, and I'm seeing all pentacles here. So let's look at the pentacles. So the first pentacle that came out was the ten of pentacles. So I'm not surprised to see more pentacles here. Then we got the knight of pentacles, then we got the seven of pentacles and the six of pentacles and the eight. So we have six, seven, eight onto the 10. Your journey has been altruistic. You haven't been doing things just for yourself. You've been doing things for others. And because of that, you're being rewarded for your patience, for your dedication, for your hard work, for your altruism for your persistence through the bad times, you didn't feel like a victim. When you got nervous, you focused on service. And this did not go unnoticed. Spirit sees your virtue. And because of that, you're getting highly rewarded. Keep doing the work. Keep being charitable and alt altruistic. Keep working and perfecting your craft. Keep pouring the love into yourself. Move forward with strength. Now, I'm seeing something here. I'm seeing Six of Cups, Knight of Swords, 
seven of pentacles, ten of pentacles. This is like creating like a, a diamond shape. It's not exactly a diamond shape, but I see a connection here. And I see the ace of cups over there. So I'm seeing it is possible that if you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, and there is a romantic connection to this person, I see maybe a reconciliation or a reunion here with this person after you've both been patient or after you've been patient and been working on yourself. And this could end up in marriage with this person. That's for some of you wanting that message. It doesn't have to be for all of you, okay? Now, looking at this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Discs in this card here, in this deck here, I'm seeing another diamond shape here. And I'm seeing altruism, patience, and judgment. So what this is telling me is that even through your darkest moments, you learned and you developed patience and you showed your your genuine altruism and with judgment being here spirit is saying i've seen you now you're getting rewarded with financial stability and see the queen of pentacles is also also a wife so now I'm seeing this diagonal here, patience and wealth, but the Ten of Pentacles with, with the, next to it, a Queen of Pentacles could mean marriage as well with a higher level soul, soulmate maybe from a past life. Maybe someone you've been holding back from or who has been holding back from you but is coming in with action now, okay? Um, now I'm seeing another, now I'm not seeing a diagonal I'm not seeing a diamond shape. I am seeing something else now. I am seeing this rectangle over here. And I am seeing the Ace of Swords with the Ace of Cups, strength, virtue, and persistence. So you're having a new beginning that is a reward for your virtue and persistence and your strength and you moving in the energy of love, being loving toward yourself and others, being truthful toward yourself and others. And the Ace of Swords is a victory. Your strength, your virtue, your persistence, your self-love and, and uh, unconditional love toward others is bringing you a victory now. You're conquering your traumas. You're conquering the fear. You persisted through, and now you're being rewarded. Again, the same message here. And with all these pentacles being in this reading, I am seeing anything you have manifested in the 5D, 7D, the intangible or untangible, what you cannot see, what was... Basically, what you could, what you imagined, whether that was in love or um, in your business, it is materializing. It's grounding. It's becoming a reality in your material world. Whatever it is that you manifested, like, let's give an example in love. You manifested, um, let's say, um, meeting up with someone. And it wasn't happening. It's going to happen now. I see stability being created between you and this person in a very real and tangible way. When I mean real, I mean 3D real, material real, where you can touch this person and, and look at this person right in front of you, talk without needing a phone or um, emails or whatever, without there being a distance. Because I do see here, I did see somewhere, okay, yeah, Three of Wands. This, this means there could have been a distance between you and someone, okay? And with all these pentacles and air travel, oh my goodness, look at this. this. I see this as like someone being on a plane or an airplane. It's air travel to me when I see that. 
and communication with the bird being there. The owl, very wise bird, by the way. Wisdom. You followed your wisdom. But anyway, three of wands could mean a long distance connection here. And with the, the Knight of Swords, I see that as someone getting on the plane and traveling, taking action in that way in the form of air travel. So if you've been patiently waiting for this and you've been going about your business and uh, controlling what you can control in your life, then you're having a reunion here with someone who is maybe coming in, traveling even from a long distance to speak their truth toward you. And it could mean something about a long-term commitment and being together every day, maybe moving in together. And look, I just noticed we have the world here as well. So again, world travel, long distance, uh, maybe online communication. And then we have the Queen of Swords. You could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart. You could be dealing with a G Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or Tau Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Some of these signs. This has maybe been a very slow process. But, it, but it's, it's a stable one nonetheless. So maybe you've even felt the need to stay quiet at times, not say anything. Maybe there has been a period of silence here. But a reunion, Three of Cups getting together, get together, celebrating in a tangible way, a real grounded way. Maybe this is a situation where you felt defeated, where you felt like you weren't getting much out of a situation here. And maybe you've been feeling oppressed in some way, but you always, there was something that your intuition was telling you about the situation High Priestess, that this was your counterpart. Okay, now we're getting into the love reading. It's inevitable. It always shows up. The love always shows up. Look at this. Husband and wife. A victory. Six of Wands, happiness, nine of cups. Getting what you want out of the situation. Your wish fulfillment when it comes to a divine counterpart. Now, this could be a work couple, but king and queen of pentacles is pretty much the married couple. So it's either your story or it's not. For some of you, you've been um, working on something work-wise with someone who is a partner at a distance and you're going to celebrate a victory together in business. And your hard work together has paid off. But with the Six of Cups being here, the Ten of Pentacles, the King and Queen of Pentacles, I'm seeing marriage. Delayed gratification here. After a long time of waiting and working on this and now... In business, it's the same. This could be a business partnership and there's delayed gratification, but you're being rewarded. And there's a celebration and a victory in your business together. Let's get some final message here. Yes. Huh. This is a contract. Now, this could be a marriage contract or a, that, or a business. Okay, so this could be a, a marriage contract. Ten of Pentacles with the Justice. Someone here could be a Libra. Or it could be a business contract that would lead to a lot of wealth. Or it could be a long-lasting marriage contract that you're coming into. Swiftness. This is going to happen a lot faster than you thought it would. So I'm seeing eight days to eight weeks, either for someone to travel and speak something very fast or to, to, for a, ma a marriage proposal. Because now I'm seeing three of cups with the ten of, sorry, three of cups with the ten of pentacles and 
king and queen of pentacles with the justice could be a marriage proposal. All of these together. And it's happening a lot faster than you thought. This could be travel, again, air travel, passionate communication, a, a lot of action being taken in the next eight weeks. In the next eight weeks. Eight days to eight weeks. Okay. Okay. One more and gain. We were missing the nine of pentacles. You could have Virgo in your chart. doesn't have to be. Nine of pentacles. Maybe you've been single. doesn't have to be. Or maybe you've just been working very hard on yourself and your craft. And you're about to get gains. Financial and otherwise. And a lot of happiness, wish fulfillment, whatever that means to you, whatever that looks like for you. Bottom of the deck, the lovers, higher level soulmate coming in. And this entails an important decision that you have to make. It's going to come with an important decision. This is major. Whatever's happening in your life, it's major. Okay? Earn success. Going from turbulent waters in your life to calmer waters. This is earned and there's healing here. Okay, and they're saying that is all. So this was your collective reading. Uh, it was quite beautiful. I actually will be making another one for the members area now. So if you are a member, go and check that one out. If not... Um, if you want to become a member, all you have to do is join the membership on your computer or on an Android phone. I do believe it doesn't work on iPhones, even though I feel then you can access the membership area on your iPhone once you have joined on your computer. It has a small monthly cost and you have other um, pick a cards and uh, videos that you can watch there as well as extended. So if you are feeling up to it, go ahead. And I hope this was helpful for you. And maybe you can get more information in the other one as well. But if this is where I leave you, bless you all. It was a pleasure to read for you today. And let me know if you guys enjoy this uh, style of reading, collective readings, okay? Bless you all. Bye. Till next time.